Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Meghan's furious her new royal title has been downgraded by Queen's nasty surprise. Meghan Markle may have weaseled her way into the royal family, but the 1,000-year-old monarchy is no match for the former D-list actress. A big part of scoring her prince was receiving her own coat of arms along with a royal title, Duchess of Sussex. But now that the wedding is over, Meghan's furious as her new royal title has been downgraded by the Queen's nasty surprise. Meghan Markle thought after her wedding was over she would be holding all the cards going forward. But just like Princess Diana and Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, found out, marrying into the British royal family is only the beginning of the battle to stay relevant in the 1,000-year-old monarchy. Sarah Ferguson, known as Fergie, is probably the best example to compare to Meghan Markle, except Fergie is rather likable and is British. Fergie married Prince Andrew, who like Prince Harry is called a spare to the throne, in the line of succession. When we talk about the line of succession to the throne, it's passed on to the monarch's firstborn child, regardless of gender. So, in this present case, we have Prince Charles, who is first in line, then after he dies, it will go to Prince William. After Prince William, it will go to his firstborn, Prince George. At this point, Prince Harry is behind all of William's children, in the line of succession. The monarch's duty to provide an heir and a spear is the saying the British use when talking about the line of succession. Kate Middleton felt the pressure to get pregnant and provide the heir and the spare, but Meghan Markle isn't under that pressure, which is a good thing as she's almost 37 years old. But Meghan didn't give up her budding acting career and her nice free lifestyle rubbing shoulders with the rich and famous to be just the spare's wife, hemmed in by archaic royal rules. No, Meghan wants to be center stage, and what she is finding out, as Fergie did, is that she's really not as important as she thinks. In fact, it was quite a shock to the new Duchess of Sussex to learn what will befall her daughters. In a punch to her rousing feminist gut, any female progeny she may have with Harry will have no royal title. Even Fergie's daughters have the royal title of Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, but Meghan's daughters will never have any royal title. Why? Well, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie's father is the son of the reigning monarch. And if you think having a royal title is not a big deal, consider it does come with perks, potential lands, jewels and of course, the status. When the crafty queen issued Prince Harry his dukedom upon his marriage to Markle, she could have chosen from several available titles. She could have issued a special proclamation regarding Harry's heirs. But she chose the old unwanted title of Sussex, where it states no female from their marriage can inherit it. People magazine reports, Queen Elizabeth made the couple the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, but the dukedom can only be inherited by a male heir, and if they don't have any boys, then the title will die out. They add, Meghan has said in the past that both she and Harry are feminists, and her about page on the royal family website underscores the importance of her being a champion of female empowerment. I am proud to be a woman and a feminist, she is quoted on the site. So Meghan's title of Duchess of Sussex came with a real nasty surprise for the feminist. If their marriage doesn't work out, she probably won't retain that title, either. The Queen has played Meghan well? and royal insiders say she was furious learning if she wants to really secure her royal status she better get started having babies, and then, she better pray for a son. At 37 years old, can you imagine having to go through lord knows how many pregnancies until she pops out a male heir? The hard royal fact is for Meghan, as Fergie learned, her life is now under an intense microscope. Gone is the carefree lifestyle replaced with intense scrutiny by palace courtiers and with the understanding that your life is no longer your own. If she ends up wanting a divorce, or if Harry ends up wanting a divorce, she won't get security to last a lifetime, either. That's what happened to Fergie, who got a little bit over $4 million in her divorce deal. Only $400,000 of that in cash to do with as she liked. That may sound like a lot, but it's nothing compared to the lifestyle Meghan so badly craves. Well, when you love someone, it's not about money, right? Many people have pointed to Fergie selling her name to make money with Weight Watchers, but oddly, she and Prince Andrew still live together and seem to love one another. Sadly, most people feel Meghan's love and attraction to Prince Harry was more love of his royal title and wealth. The new Duchess of Sussex may have gotten Harry to the altar, but the monarch has outplayed the former actress, teaching her she's still just a lowly pawn in this royal game of chess, and Meghan's got no real move to make. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.